C'est un privilège et un honneur d'être ici à Durban pour représenter le Canada. It's a pleasure and a, a real privilege to be here representing Canada. Our thanks to the South African Presidency uh, for the warm hospitality of COP17. Colleagues, the Canadian government and reasonable Canadians generally recognize that global issues like climate change require global solutions. Here in Durban, I have seen a commendable commitment to work together to collectively and effectively deal with climate change. Representatives from countries big and small, rich and poor, have come together out of genuine concern and with common purpose. And Canada is a willing partner. We are here to work hard and to work constructively toward new solutions and new approaches to deal with our climate change challenges. Our position has long been clear. We support a new international climate change agreement that includes commitments from all major emitters. That is the only way we're going to achieve real reductions and real results. We must be fair if we're to be effective. And that is why for Canada, the Kyoto Protocol is not where the solution lies. It is an agreement that covers fewer than 30% of global emissions, by some estimates 15%, even less. Il s'agit d'une approche qui n'entraîne aucun engagement plus exhaustif de la part des principales parties qui doivent participer activement à un accord mondial. It is an approach that does not lead to more comprehensive engagement of key parties who need to be actively a part of a global agreement nor does it provide for individual countries to take action that reflects national circumstances. It is for all these reasons that we have long said we will not take on a second commitment under the Kyoto Protocol. We will not discourage or obstruct that those who do, but Kyoto for Canada is in the past. On the other hand, Canada believes that the Cancun agreements adopted at COP16 and flowing from the Copenhagen Accord do provide a sound conceptual and practical framework to advance our collective engagement to really address climate change. The countries who have endorsed the Cancun agreements cover more than three quarters of global emissions, already more than double those originally covered by Kyoto. The Cancun agreements are more realistic than Kyoto. Kyoto. They are more comprehensive than Kyoto, and we believe they will be more effective and more fair than Kyoto. At home, Canada is already making great progress towards our ambitious target of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 17% over 2005 levels by 2020. C'est une cible alignée sur celle des États-Unis, notre proche prochain voisin et premier partenaire commercial. We are doing this sector by sector, deliberately. We started with transportation and electricity, the two largest sources of greenhouse gas emissions in Canada, and we will continue to proceed to address emissions from other major emitting sectors. We are working in partnership with our provinces and with our territories to help us reach our national targets. Each jurisdiction is contributing and getting real results. From programs to get more electrical vehicles rolling on our roads to the development of carbon capture and storage, from the closure of dirty coal plants to the harnessing of hydroelectric power, our collective action is allowing us to go further, faster. C'est cette même approche qui nous souhaitons faire valoir ici sur la scène internationale. Nous voulons amener toutes les parties à travailler ensemble a relever des défis communes. It is that same sort of approach that we are seeking to advance here on the international scene, all parties working collaboratively together to address a common challenge. As part of our balanced approach, we are also helping developing countries do their share. We are working with them on clean technology projects and adaptation strategies with $1.2 billion in fast start financing. We also support the Green Climate Fund as part of the broader package of an international solution. Again, 
Canada supports the blueprint put forward at Cancun, and we hope all countries here will join us in this global effort by undertaking concrete and quantifiable measures to reduce emissions significantly. Canada is, ladies and gentlemen, carrying its weight. We are proud to do our share. Merci. Thank you. Благодарю вас, Ваше Превосходительство. Позвольте сейчас пригласить на трибуну Его Превосходительство господина Анура Прия Даршана Япа.